Hi, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I am Dani. Today, I want to show you how I add shadows and shades to this cute illustration in the beach. So let's get started. I already have here my illustration and I have already added the base colors. So after we're done with color blocking, we are going to add a new layer and we're going to change the mode to bold black. I am going to start applying shades to the leaves of the palm tree. With the eyedropper, I select the same color of the leaves, but since our layer is in multiplied mode, the tone of the color is going to be darker. You can experiment with different modes, but this is my favorite to apply the shades to the elements of the illustration. To apply the shades, I like to use a brush that is pressure sensitive because when I want to make the shade darker, I just add more pressure and when I want it lighter, I just simply apply less pressure. After I color some areas that I want to shade, then I use the smudge tool to make the shade look smoother. This is definitely my favorite part when I am painting because it makes the illustration come to life. And you can tell that it is no longer a flat drawing on the paper, well, or in this case, on the screen. It is important to remember where the light is coming from in the illustration. In this case, the sun is the light, and it comes from the upper middle part in the sky. So I am adding shades to the opposite areas of the palm leaves. If you like this type of videos and would like to see more like this in my channel, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I know there are different ways of adding shades to the illustrations. If you do it in a different way, leave your comment below because I would like to learn and try new techniques. And also, this is a great way in which we can all learn from each other. I usually zoom out to see how the details look in the illustration, like here. And I noticed that the tone of the shades was too dark for my taste. So I decreased the opacity to around 70% and I really liked how it looked.
After I am done with the shades of the objects in the illustration, I add the cast shadows. This is the shadow that is formed when one object is in front of another and blocks the light from the source. This shadow is a little darker than the shading and it tends to be less smooth. I still use this much tool to smooth this out, but not as much as before. create the shadows of the palm trees, I first duplicate the layer and change the mode to multiply. Then I switch the layer horizontally so that the image is upside down. I move it to place it in the right place and then I decrease the opacity. In this case, the shadow was too dark, so I changed the color to a lighter yellow. After I finish with the shades and shadows, I continue to add the highlights and the detail to the scene. If you want to learn more about how I add the highlights to my illustrations, check out this video right here where I explain a little bit more of my process. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.